Hello everybody, my name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Damn, it's been a minute, but I'm back, ready to get it. Uh, this is a quick one for you. Um, I have one where I did uh, how to like chop samples using Fruity Slicer. This one's gonna be how to chop samples just using the playlist in FL Studio. Yes, it can be done. Okay, let's check out the sample we're using. This is from uh, Cymatics Gyms. Um, their Gyms collection, you can check that out in the description. Go cop those. There's some fucking sick melodies, I'm telling you. So here, let's listen to this. Okay, yeah, it sounds pretty damn good. Um, but of course we want to flip it and make it sound different. So first thing I'm going to do is see if I can pitch it up or down, maybe change the pitch. You know, I always like to do that first. Let's see here. I think I liked it when it was all the way down, down an octave. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now what we can do is, we can go ahead and right click on the uh, little, the little menu thing for that sound. Pull up this and then we can do chop let's do time based we can do all sorts of things we can do a complex we can do a beat shuffle pretty cool we'll just undo that let's see what else we got in here marching 116 loop see we don't want that shit but we can do time-based, and let's chop it in bars. Oh, how about beats? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and take shit from here and make our own little new sample. So I'm gonna min I'm gonna uh, mute this and just start dragging stuff. So let's just take from like right here. Oops, don't want to take the whole thing. Let's just take from right here. See, I like that a lot. You see, it's like completely different from this. Well, not completely different, but you know what I'm saying? It's its its own variation. Now we can even bring that more in. And some other stuff. So let's, uh, let's take some of these, uh, I want to find that, like, boo doo doo whatever that, that sound.
Okay, so you see that? Uh, it sounds like that. Um, you just save it. Always save your stuff. We'll call this um, saving stuff. No, no, that's dumb. That's dumb. We'll call it uh. There we go. Safe haven. How about that? Now, what we can do is, you see how it's all chopped up? What if we want it to just be like one grouped up file so we don't have to, like when we move it, we don't actually move some of the stuff around. Well, what we can do is actually consolidate this track. So uh, in the playlist, the, the, the track that it's on, you want to right click that and then go to consolidate this track and then from track start. Okay, and it's going to highlight... Uh, the part that you want to consolidate and it's only that part right there I mean, there's also these ones here, but we'll just keep those since it's not as much uh, like stuff so just hit start Now as you can see we have a full actual audio track where it's not just the chops So I can just drag this and it's the full thing. It's nice of these up here since we're done chopping up the sample now and hell we can even consolidate this one right here these smaller ones now this just lets you do even more stuff you can go in here pitch this up or down reverse it That's a cool that's a cool little pad there we can even go and do more we can route this to a mixer track and start processing it um let's put on so this is the stock plugin we can use some gross beat some more girl speed on there maybe like a half speed or maybe not even a half speed that might be too much yeah that's way too much let's do you know honestly the possibilities are endless you just got to find you just got to go in and get it like we can do some shit like this I'm saying you can do anything just get creative with it see what I'm saying there's endless possibilities endless but uh, just to show you that this does work I'll go ahead and add drums to it just a little drum loop let's see here on 80 ppm let's go to um, ultimate lo-fi.
You see what I'm saying? That's already like a bop right there. And I just literally added in a, a lo-fi drum loop. Obviously, you can make your own drums. You could do whatever, man. Just you do you as long as you can make a good fucking song while being creative, you know. Don't let don't let anybody tell you you can't use samples or loops or any of that. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. You can do whatever the hell you want. Um, there's The music has no limits. Just remember that. If you start limiting yourself, you're going to get less creative. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you found some help. Sorry about the length. I tried to make it a little bit shorter, but you know, you know how it goes. I'll catch you guys in the next video, though. Stay safe out there. Peace.